Hi there, I'm Dr. Michael Yeh, here from UCLA Health Endocrine Surgery. Today I want to answer a common question, am I too old to have parathyroid surgery? And in most cases, the answer is no. Age alone isn't a reason to avoid surgery. In fact, parathyroid surgery is one of the best things you can do for your long-term bone health if you have primary hyperparathyroidism. The main reason we perform parathyroid surgery is because it helps protect your bones. After surgery, most patients see an increase in bone mineral density over two to five years. That means fewer major fractures and that benefit can last a decade or more. Like any procedure, there's a short-term risk, but the long-term benefits often outweigh that small risk. So how do we know if parathyroid surgery is worth it in a given patient with primary hyperparathyroidism? Well, there's actually extensive research on this. If your life expectancy is more than three years, parathyroid surgery is usually considered a good investment for your health. You may have heard that age is a factor when deciding whether someone should have surgery, and that's true, but what really matters is not how old you are, but how healthy you are. And here I'm making the distinction between your chronologic age and your physiologic age. Now let's take the average patient who comes into our office with a diagnosis of primary hyperparathyroidism. It's a woman who's 60 years old and she has some bone loss, either osteoporosis or perhaps osteopenia, which is a, an earlier stage of bone loss. This patient is otherwise healthy and active. This patient has an average life expectancy of over 20 years, in which case for her, the typical patient with primary hyperparathyroidism, surgery makes a lot of sense. Now you might be wondering, how do we know what someone's life expectancy is? This is not an exact science, but I often ask patients three questions. The first one is about their physical activity. Can you do your own shopping, cleaning, and cooking? Can you walk up two flights of stairs without getting short of breath? That's a sign of good health. What about your social supports? Do you have close relationships with family, friends, and your community? Staying socially connected is linked to living longer. Third, what about your future orientation? Are you making plans or looking forward to something exciting in the future? Because having goals is a strong sign of longevity. Two people may be the same age on paper, but have very different health profiles. That's why I focus more on your physiologic age, how your body is functioning, than on your birth date. So what if you're 80 or older? Is it still worth it to have parathyroid surgery? It depends. Many of our patients are in their 80s or 90s and have had successful parathyroid surgery, so we really take it one person at a time. Now, who isn't a good candidate for parathyroid surgery for primary hyperparathyroidism? Only a small number of patients fit into this group, usually those with serious heart, lung, liver, or neurological issues that make the surgery too risky. But that's really the exception and not the rule. More than 90%, perhaps closer to 95% of the patients we meet who have primary hyperparathyroidism are good candidates for surgery. Please remember, parathyroid surgery is rarely an emergency. You have time to think about it. If your calcium levels are high and you're healthy with good life expectancy, chances are that you're a strong candidate for parathyroid surgery. I hope this answers your question. Once again, I'm Michael Yeh from UCLA Health Endocrine Surgery, and thank you so much for watching.